first of all, bro, I just want to say um, thank you for popping up. You know what I'm saying? You know, I've been following you for a minute, you know, even from the first time that we met with yeah. my brother, Lisa Shooter. You know, I've been following you. And, and one thing about me, I was an ex-basketball player, but I think I have like a knack for knowing who I think is going to be like the next, next, next. Oh, shit. We got, oh, we got somebody coming in. I want to ask you a question real fast. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on one second. Hold on one second. Hold on one second. Hey, yo. What in the world? <laughs> is that Michael B. Jordan? Oh, my God. <laughs> What's hey up, yo, man? hey yo, hold on, hold on. <laughs> That's crazy. What up, man? What's up, man? Hey, hey. man, this is just chilling, man. Just chilling, man. Just checking in on you. It's only right. Hey, man. It's hey, right. I'm in shock right now. I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> wow. Jack already got something up his sleeve. You feel me? He, he hey, was yo. saying that he had something up his sleeve, and I was like, "What? What? What, what are you talking about, bro? He, 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 he ain't got, like, no oh. got no sleeves. What? He ain't got no sleeves." I'm telling you, man, you're a huge inspiration to all of us in the community, whether you know it or not, man. You know, you're really inspiring a lot of people. And one of the sure. things I love to do with my business and everything is like Mike, Mike B. Jordan has been a huge supporter of what I've been doing. And, you know, I asked him to come on just to kind of give that inspiration. I think we need more inspiration and more people to kind of let you know, like, bro, you can make it. You can do whatever you want to do. And it's all about us as a community coming together. And, you know, right. for me, I, shit. I didn't know if Mike was going to Mike always support me, but I'm like, this nigga, he probably ain't going to come. But <laughs> this, this shows you the type of person that Mike B is, man. And I want him to come on, like, one, give you a little inspiration, say, bro, we got your back, bro. We following you. We yeah. we love yeah, everything man. you and your boys is doing. So I wanted to bring Mike on. I ain't going to keep holding the stage with Mike. Nah, you know what nah, I mean? Could... We all appreciate it. Wait, before you go, I just want I, I just want you to let you know my team right here. Oh, yeah. and they, bring they him in. Bring him in. It's always a lot of us, so we don't we don't always just appear on the camera at the same time. But nah, man, I, I love the way you move, man. You always putting your boys on, man. Everybody getting their time to shine. Everybody bring something to the table, man. That type of group team effort, man, is it, it, super important. And a lot of times it's overlooked, man. But just know. Cats is watching you, man. I know I watch you. You got me dying at the house all the time. Yeah, man. I appreciate crack, it. Cracking up, you know what I'm saying? The fact that you got young black brothers that are also anime fans, you know what I'm saying? That's like, you know, blurs. Y'all bringing something to the subculture that, I mean, we were, I'm pretty sure y'all was on it before it became popular, you know what I'm saying? Like when, yeah. when cats, you know what I'm saying, used to get, you know, talked about down and dirty for, for liking, you know, anime and shit like that. So you guys just always been a big inspiration for me, man. It's letting me know that that, you know what I'm saying, like the, the next generation and next up is in good hands. Like you, you just yeah. keep setting the tone, man, and keep keep doing your thing because everybody watching and we support you, man. We, we were definitely supporting and rocking with you, man. Everybody. Man, everybody. <laughs> we really appreciate that because, you know, you're a big inspiration to us as well, Thank man. And, and I always see you were supporting and posting some of our videos on your story and everything. I just appreciate it. I just want to tell you that, you know what I'm saying? Really David, appreciate it. Nah, man, it, it means a lot, man. Look, the sky's the limit. Just, just keep it up, man. Keep going. You know, uh, you know, every obstacle, you know, every, every, every bump in the road along the way is just a, it's another lesson to be learned, something to grow from. You know what I mean? So, you know, sometimes you gotta take a step back to take a few steps forward. So just keep at it, keep grinding, keep knocking on the door, because the shit will open up, man. And you guys are always already got, you know, what I'm saying a lot of. You know what I'm saying? A lot of wins under your belts, but just keep keep at it, man. Like people are noticing it and um and, and, and it's only a matter of time. You know what I'm saying? You're definitely highly favored, man. 100 percent man. We always gonna keep grinding. Appreciate you, man. Mike B and Mark Phillips, like I said, Mark, I want you to be able to ask Mike B any question. You know what I mean? I'm sure you guys will be connected more after this conversation. But do you have any questions to ask Mike just kind of basically on, you know, taking that next step? Where do you get his inspiration from? Like, do y'all got any questions for Mike before he leaves? I know he's probably shooting a movie or some shit right now. So, any questions? <laughs> I mean, got, the, man, I, let I, him I guess the, the question I wanted to ask right off the back is like, just like, you know, when you get casted for a movie or a TV show, like, how is that process? Like, how, how, like, how hard is it on a set and being like the main actor uh, and just doing that? Um, I, I think, you know, it was a process, man. I mean, I think earlier in my career, kind of like with the, you know, auditioning and stuff for projects, you know, it was, um, damn, I mean, it, it was, 
you always see the same cats. You know what I mean? You would see the same dudes, you know, all, you know, like all, you know, the same age group because you've been going out for this, like, you know, certain roles or whatever. So, you know, you become friends, you know what I'm saying? And kind of like, you know, get to know each other, whatever the case may be. But, you know, for me, it, it was, uh, I was one of the blessed ones, man. I, I, I was, I was booking a lot, you know, at, at a young age, you know, and, and it was, uh, it's something I took real serious. Always wanted to be prepared. You know, I think one of the, you know, the, the, you know, tips that I had in the sense of like, you know, auditioning, like I would try to be as off book as possible, but I will always keep my sides in my hand just to let like cats know that like I wasn't all the way done. You know what I mean? Like this is just yeah. like, we're still auditioning. You know what I mean? I, I think the auditioning process, some people feel like they feel rushed. I would say to take your time and take ownership of your time when you're in the room. When you get called into the room, like ask questions. You know what I'm saying? I think I think like to like like to to show that yeah yeah you're, you're really engaged and you're really interested about what you're doing. You're not just coming in and saying the lines and just leaving and hoping you look look right. You know what I'm saying? You leave an impression. Like try to leave an impression by like being inquisitive. You know what I'm saying? And really like asking questions about what exactly you're doing. Yeah. I would go in there with like layers too, right? So if I had a jacket on or a hat or like or whatever it would be. I will go in there and take my time and take that off to let them know that I'm actually like I'm, I'm stripping down to, you know, a blank canvas so I could be whatever you, you you need me to be for the role. Like little things like that, like just 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 like little things that I would I would try to do with the uh, the casting directors or whoever was uh would be in the room at the time. And then I think as I as I started to book and become more successful, I th I think it would be, you know. You, you know, trying to be as selective as possible, you know, to, yeah. you know, I, and as, as you start to get more wins under your belt, you start to, you know, you know, kind of dictate and start to choose your projects. A lot of people think acting is like, you know, like, hey, why'd you do that role? Why'd you do this role? Like shit at the time, that's the role I got. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Like, like I wasn't, I wasn't turning down too many roles in the beginning. You know, I just so happened to do roles that would always project me and push me forward to like the next level. You know what I'm saying? From like one yeah. stepping stone to the next stepping stone. So now it's like, it's kind of like you define by what you say no to, you know what I mean? And like being more selective. So like now, now it's like, you know, now have my own production company, producing movies, you know what I'm saying? Producing the projects that I'm in as well is being extremely selective and just picking my moments, you know? So, so now it's just more of a, more of a chess game, you know, um, yeah. than anything. So I, I think that's just the art that I, that I took. So I think, I think the, the general advice from the auditioning standpoint is the things I said before, and then something that you should always carry with, um, with, with you throughout the process is like, you know, it's trying to be as selective as possible and don't chase the money. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't chase the money. And the money, the money, don't cash out. Don't, it's too early to cash out. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like, that's going to come. Just be, be honest and stay true to the work and all the rest of the shit's going to come, man. I, I promise. 100%. I yeah, appreciate yeah, yeah. that. was a poetic yeah, answer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, <laughs> right. yeah. I gave you the whole formula. Strip <laughs> down the clothes, let them know your layers. Yeah, no, yeah. Crazy. Just, just look, it's, it's all a mental mind game because it's about imposing, imposing your will on things. You know what I'm saying? You got to think about it. It's like these people are going to see however many people that look like you that fit your description. Like, what, what, what is something that you're going to do to stand out? You know what I'm saying? Like, like what, what steps are you going to be able to present to them? You know what I'm saying? That that lets you know you're different, you know? And I think it's that extra care, that extra, those extra questions, the, 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 pro making sure you have a process. You're not just in there, you know, you know, just, just, just going off the seat of your pants and shit. You're not just, you actually have a process. And I think that is respected. It's, 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 a, it's a respect thing, you know? So yeah. that is. Yeah, no, yeah. no, I, we really appreciate that, man. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Mike. Yeah. Mike B, man, I appreciate you, you know what I mean? Tapping course, in, bro. You know, we we you've always showed love to me, and you know, as soon as I told you that I was interviewing Mark, you was like, "Man, I follow him, yeah, for sure." And 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 I think we need more of that in our community, right? Because it's like it's a lot of people that have made it to the top, and they've been super successful. Mike, you probably one of the you mean you number one now, Ma. You like ain't no ain't no actor bigger than Mike B right now, and the fact that you're able to come back and speak to people like Mark and his group, I mean, that shit is inspiring, man. That's all we need. I always say, man, all we need is somebody saying, "Yo." You doing your thing. That's all. You don't. You ain't got to support. Yeah. Just say, "Yo, I see you. You doing your thing." And I mean, I appreciate you, uh, Mike, for coming nah, on all, and, and speaking, all bro. Anytime, bro. And that's love. Anytime, that's love. man. Hey, man, y'all keep doing your thing, man. Keep keep killing it. You know what I'm saying? Jack, hit me up whenever you already know. Mark, keep doing your thing. I'm, I'm watching. I'm following. I'm always supporting, man. And uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? Keep killing. I'll talk to y'all soon. Well, all right, Mike. Thank you. All right, man. Oh, Jack, so hold up. That's crazy. <laughs> hey, look, look, look. hey, Mark, hey, look, something about me, right? I, I might not have the most followers. I might not be, you know what I mean? I'm not, that's not me, right? But in real life, 
I know the right people. And like I told you before, bro, like I see, I think you, bro, I know, I know y'all is going to be the next huge thing that's what's happening because media is switching, movies is changing, like everything is changing, right? And yeah. I want to give you that inspiration to say, oh, big dogs right now. And until yeah. you start, you got to think like that. You got to put yourself in that frequency. Like you got to feed yourself it's that energy to let y'all know. You know what I mean? Y'all are them boys. Y'all are him. So we start the show. My man QC. That quick. My man QC. Yeah. At What's the going on, man? That was good. Yeah. What's good, bro? Hey. What's good with you? We, we, you know what hey. I'm saying? We 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 had a game right now. We call it Bro, what? Wow. Hey. Man, hey, there's, no bro. There's, there's no fans, but you know what I'm saying? We still gonna bring the energy. Yeah, yeah. no, yeah. no. Back. That's crazy. I appreciate you joining, man. Hey, you know, Quinn. So I'm a big fan. I just wanted to bring everybody on. We we haven't even started the interview yet. You got a game right now. Um, I just wanted to come on and just let let these fellas know, man. Like, yo, we we supporting you, like guys supporting you, bro. And, and Quinn, I wanted you to come on. I know you got a game. Like, if y'all got any questions, like I'm I'm here to build network. I want my people to know, like, if we come together at every level, we could be billionaires. Yeah. It ain't no reason why not. It's just. Nobody comes together like you got your group and your click. I got my click. Quinn got his click. But if we all come together on the same mindset, so Quinn, I once if you got any questions for them or y'all got any questions for Quinn or vice well, versa. First, I just wanted to bring first, people on here, man. First, first, uh, I love, I love y'all team, man. Uh, just want y'all to know everybody knows who y'all are. Everybody watches y'all. Not just the basketball. Y'all got the anime. Y'all got the Arby's. Y'all got. The- <laughs> <laughs> Y'all got, y'all got everything and everybody watch y'all, man. Uh, I would say, quick question for me is, how long, like, how do y'all come up with, like, all right, I'm going to wake up, all right, I'm going to make a video about Arby's or I'm going to make a video about a guy who uh, never stops running on offense. Like, yeah. Come up with that stuff because everything y'all do, um, it just hits home. I know for me and everybody, everybody in the league, like, we love y'all videos. So how do y'all just come up with that concept? I feel like uh, a lot of it comes from, like, experience, too, at the same time. Like, I mean, obviously, we probably ain't experienced, like, working at Arby's, but, like, just the fact that driving past Arby's and never seeing nobody there is like, and what are they doing there? You know what I'm saying? Like, so we like, okay, like, well, how can we make that into a video? Um, and then, you know, we, we, we literally hang out all the time, 24 hours a day, and we, you know, we make jokes all the time. And, and there's a lot of time that we, you know, we get real serious and just sit and think about, like, 10 ideas uh just like for an hour or two and then we make some of those ideas and then a lot of them just come to us while we're doing other things too like uh we going out to play basketball or something like that and then we we uh we see something that's funny or that we feel like could be funny and you know we put that into our notes like oh yeah that's a funny idea and then we go out there and make it um so that's that's pretty much how we do most of the short videos y'all be right on point like the ones like i remember the one y'all had where your homeboy was like had like started a business and was trying to sell you something. You <laughs> yeah. Out, you know, but then the stranger right next to him had like I don't know whatever they had. And he was ready. Yeah. To pay every, you know what I'm saying? That's real life. <laughs> everything, everything I do is like, damn, bro, that shit for real. Like, so nah, man. Everybody's paying attention. Man, man, <laughs> man, it's, it's an honor. It's an honor being on with y'all. I mean, I DM'd you like a year ago, like, bro, like you the funniest dude on the internet. Like, keep going. Like, so I yeah. mean, a lot y'all, y'all on here, man. Jack linking us, man. And, uh, I hope y'all. I hope y'all keep going, man. Yeah, hey, no, nah, for real. Hey, first of all, we appreciate you being on with us. You know what I'm saying? Because to us, you know what I'm saying. That's an NBA player telling us that. So to me, that that's always like always gonna put us in shock every time, bro. And you just sitting in the arena, like like like, 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 like that's crazy. Like that's wild. Y'all play what? Hour and a half, right? Yeah, we play. We play like an hour and a half. Like hey, good, good luck to y'all. Hey, good luck to y'all, man. Man, appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Damn, that's crazy. All right, Quinn. Hey, love. That's love, Quinn. I ain't going to hold you, man. I appreciate you coming on, bro. You know we family. Love you, bro. We going to talk soon, man. Good luck tonight. All right. All right, Quinn. Have y'all ever met Max before? Oh, uh, uh, Bleach Report event. Yeah. So- first of all, first of all, here. I got y'all. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I'm not going to lie right now. Y'all, y'all got it. And, and I know, and y'all got the team. I know the team is the most important part. Like, I'm not, every. you know, everybody be, probably thinking that you know supreme supreme this supreme that but it's really all of y'all 
I'm just, I'm just, I'm saying like, keep, keep doing your thing. I, yeah, yeah, been doing. Yeah, first of all, yeah, been doing. Yeah, been doing the funny content. You know what I'm saying? Just it's about consistency. You know what I'm saying? That's that's yeah. what y'all bring. Yeah, keep doing your thing. I just want to came in here and just say that y'all got it, man. Got yeah. It, man. Just, yeah. And that's what it's about, man. At the end of the day, and like, like, like Mike just said before, like even with me, like. I never did shit for the bread, right? You know, you think about people, they be like, yo, what you doing, man? I'm chasing this paper. I'm a big frequency guy. Yeah. So if you think about the words chasing paper, you're going to be chasing that shit the whole time. Yeah. You got to get to the knowledge of you got paper and you just catching up to it. You ain't got to chase it. You already got it. All right, all right, y'all. Supreme. Hey, uh, Supreme, I see that Jack McClendon hoodie, the Kobe tribute. That's fire. Yeah, yes, no, nah, hey, Jack sent me that, so I tell him appreciate right. it. That's fire, that's fire. <laughs> and Jack, Jack, one thing before I go, um, go to, go to, go to Jack's screen right quick. Huh? But, but yeah, the, hey, um, I, I like the way, I like the way you host. I like the way, I, I really do like the way you host. I'm not going. Nah, for real, that's, yeah. you, that's some amazing I, stuff, for real. I'm, I'm, I I'm appreciate I'm, 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 that. Host, you know exactly what to say. And er, everything you said, I feel, I felt good about it. This interview made me happy. Thank you, Jack. <laughs> Supreme, <laughs> the whole team, like, uh, like, uh, Draymond. Um, um, it don't matter. I'm out of here. I'm gonna go back. Ah. If I could bring my network together and, and, and help other people continue to grow and just give people that motivation, not confidence, man. That's what it's about. All you need is that confidence. Like yeah. for me, when I got drafted to the NBA, it only took one team, it was the Spurs. It happened to be the Spurs, but it was only one team, it only takes one person to really believe and, and see what you're doing. A lot of times as African-Americans, we think we gotta please everybody. Do what you do, be happy with what you do, and the right man will find you. Yeah. And, then that, and then when they find you, that's when you figure out, you know, strategically move the right way you're gonna move. But then the day, bro, I just wanted to say, to show you, to, to start the show, and the we ain't even started, I know you got shit to do, we are gonna get into it, but I just wanna let you know, bro, I got much love for you, bro. My network got much love for you, and I wanna let y'all know that everything y'all doing, all of y'all, all five of y'all starting five, I'm like, Oh, this just is, know that y'all different. Yeah, I appreciate and believe that. This oh, oh come on, man. Oh, this they can bring some. Yeah. Uh, hey, what's up, I, man? Hey, what's up, yeah. what's up fam? Hey, I, I, yeah, hey, look, we, uh, you might have missed the whole thing, man. But like I said, I just want to let y'all know, man, that y'all influencing a lot of people. And I told Mark earlier, bro, it's a lot of people watch you. Although they may not comment, they might not reshare, but don't do your shit to you know make sure people see it. Just do it because you guys love it. Yeah. yeah. Because y'all love it. The rest going to follow. You, Mike B came on and said, I love y'all shit. Quinn, yeah. I'll watch y'all. So it's just one of those things, man. Don't do shit for validation. Do it for the love, and that shit going to return and come right back to you, man, 10 times. Oh, man. So appreciate that's love, 100%. Hey, I appreciate all y'all. I mean, y'all can want to stay. Y'all can stay. But uh, I, I, let's get right into it. So, uh, Mark, tell me, like, I guess, explain, are all y'all from the same place? Or, or like, or did y'all uh, meet from different yeah, places? Like, we all from the same place for... For the most part, yeah. We're all from like Waco. Um, Waco, Texas. One of us is from Houston. Okay, okay. And 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 what, are y'all all funny? Yeah, How did this whole thing come together? Yeah. <laughs> Mark Mark usually he writes he writes all like our, all of our lines. So that's why it's like Oh, so yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, he writes like all the videos and stuff. So basically they all come together and makes it all like the whole the whole video. He didn't say that. But like to answer that yeah. question. Like, first of all, we are all naturally funny. It's just that I feel like uh, naturally funny doesn't translate to video funny all the time. So that's why I, um, I write the lines in, in general. Like, I write the video. It's because, like, to me, you can go find the funniest, but, like, like that don't mean he's going to be funny on the camera. 100%. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like uh, what, what I had to really, um, really just kind of get through the team head is, like, basically, like, how to transfer their comedy onto the the videos, onto the, the you know, the screen. And then, then after that, like, now I don't really have to do that. Like, they know, like, this is what you should say at this point, and it'll be funnier. Because, like, camera, you know what I'm saying? Camera can, it can make you lose funny if you do it wrong. 100%. Oh. And it, it, it's funny because, you know, I was saying this the other day, I was talking to a couple of my guys, and it's like, you really like the brawn of comedy. Like, it's funny that Bron just reposted you but if you think about what Bron did for his people, you know, put Mav on, put Rich Paul on, put these guys on, you're really putting your guys on at the highest level. And it's like, to see that Bron reposted you, it could be because you're funny, but it also could be he probably could have saw a little bit of you and himself. Like, damn, this man 
really put his people on. You know what I'm saying? And not saying that all of y'all individually aren't funny and you can't do your own thing, but I look at you almost as the brawn of comedy, bro, because a lot of times putting these people on, they yeah. so selfish. Like, ah, oh, if I don't make it, I can't put this. Like, but I just want to give you that that salute that, bro, you you almost are the brawn of comedy where you are able to do what you do and you put your people on. Did you always have that mindset of like, we is better than me? Or did, it was just one thing where it's like, man, let me just write the script for my people and see what happens. Like, where did that mindset come from? Um, no, I always had this mindset because my family, like I come from a big family, like six of us, uh, mm-hmm. brothers and sisters, and I got 10 and 11 nephews and nieces. So it's <laughs> like, I know, and I'm the youngest one. So I feel like just kind of watching them grow up and like uh, just getting a lot of inspiration from them and and itself and then like uh, my cousin Leland like I grew up with him all the time and it's like to me (laughs) to me I feel like uh... (laughs) that was me at all people you know what I'm saying no no but I I, I feel like um, like I wouldn't even want to make it if it wasn't like like just like just not saying anybody else but like without Leland like I'd be like okay so to me life would be a little bit more boring or something if you didn't have your your closest people around, your closest friends around. Uh, and, and and that's not something I wanted to leave uh, people out on. Cause uh, I had started it with, with Affion right here, actually. He was, um, oh, my fault. No, my pop, I, 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 come, oh, here. come here, oh, come here, that come out as my people, that's my pops where I get, where I get a lot of my inspiration from. That's my dad right here. That's What's up, the, everybody? It's the group of the guys. Oh, how you doing? How you doing? Right now, they can't, they can't even see you. Look down a little bit, look down a little bit. I'm I had to imagine he, had he had his beard this morning. So on the beard, you had to, I heard I heard the clippers this morning. Man. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, and I feel that man. It's just you know, like I said, there's not a lot of people in the game right now that are putting people on, right? And and I want to go back to Bron, but when he put his people on, that made him even more stronger. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It made him even. So getting getting on that, where did the name RDC come? Like, where does where does where did that what does it stand for? Where did it come from? Well, um, it, it it stands for Real Dreams Change the World because mm-hmm. I feel like everything I, I I do has to do something with dreams because I feel like dreams is very important. You want to act the dreamers podcast, baby? You're act the dreamers. You're no time. Oh, oh, see, I told you. I told you. I told you. It's elite. So, Go keep going. That I'm makes sense. That, to share that. It makes sense. Yeah, <laughs> it makes sense for real because uh, everything I do it, it it has something to do with dreams. Like I feel like like maybe our reason for being here is, is to do it's, it's to do way more than what we're doing you know what i'm saying but uh dreams are very important i just feel like 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 they just they're like the essence of your being so i feel like i felt that really at an early point in life and i didn't really understand why i wanted to chase something so bad but you know it just always stuck with me that like someone's chasing a dream they want to accomplish something they want to accomplish a goal or or multiple goals so um that's why i came up with it and then I told uh, Af right here, and he was, you know, he dream chaser too. So we, we just uh, no, nah, no, nah, we got to change that. We ain't chasing dreams. We we got we got the dream. We just catching up to him. We you catching up to him. You right, you right. shit. Well, we when you said that earlier, uh, it reminds my book had told me about chasing money. I don't never chase money because uh, it 100%. said those who seek security will chase it for a lifetime. So I 100%. feel, I feel like that's one of the realest quotes I've ever heard, actually, because you will chase it for a lifetime because you'll it's be all frequency, bro. It's yeah. all frequency, you know what I mean? You put yourself you put yourself in the frequency of chasing something, you're going to be chasing something. You know, one of the biggest things, one of my mentors told me, you know, a lot of people say, yo, I understand what you're saying. But if you think about the terminology of understanding, you go under a table and you try to stand up, you're going to hit your head. Ain't no yeah. such thing as understanding. You either overstand or you know. You know what I'm saying? You got to know that everything that you think in your mind is a reality. Yeah. The only reason why we step back is because, you know, you got people saying you can't do it, but it's like, once you silence that noise and you get into your own personal power, it's almost, bro, it's almost like this, right? When you get to the point where you know you can never get it wrong and you'll never get it done, there's no pressure. It's like laundry. Yeah. You can wash your clothes until you get it done or whatever. And you, you're you never going to be done because you're going to take that hoodie off tomorrow and put that shit in the laundry. You know what I'm saying? So there's no pressure to king you to have things. And when you know, I can't never get this shit wrong and I'm never going to get this shit done. Yeah. So just keep creating and being happy with what you do, man. Because I think a lot of times, especially with social media, man, you see so much stuff and you put pressure on yourself for something to happen a way a certain way. And if it don't happen, it ain't work. But it's like, bro, that's 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 little man talk. Yeah. You a supreme being, just like your name, Supreme Dreams. 
supreme people, bro. You got to think like that. You got to put yourself in that vibrational frequency. Because once you do that, that's just you're going to get back in return. You know what I'm saying? So um, my next question, right? So I've been following you for a minute. You know what I'm saying? I've seen you doing a lot of basketball videos. And we first met um, with a little open run we did with my brother, Chris Lethal Shooter, right? Yeah. Yeah. Did you play high school, middle school? Did you? Did you? No, I actually didn't play. Didn't play uh, I didn't play high school or middle school. Well, I played middle school, but like I was little. Like I was little, like very little. Um, and I didn't hear growth sport till like later on in high school. Um, yeah. It was. I felt like I was so little. Like I had dropped sports, you know. And it, yeah, it kind of made me feel some way because my all my family members play sports like a lot. Like my nephew right now, he's in the G League. Um, oh, really? Okay, yeah. who's your nephew? Shout him out real quick. Uh, our money Brooks. Our you know, money he played, Brooks. He our played for uh, the Atlanta Hawks. I mean, not the Hawks. Okay. He played for the Skyhawks. But um, okay, nice. they opted out of the bubble, so he got he got on the Houston team now. Uh, the oh, Houston, nice. Uh, I, I, I don't know. Uh, Rio Grande. Rio, Rio Grande Vipers, right? Yeah, yeah, that, that yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I might be going to the So, uh, okay, shout out to our money Brooks. He he going to show y'all, man. He getting to the NBA. I'm telling y'all. I believe it. I believe it. I believe it. Um, so, you know, one of those things I want to talk to is like, I know Quinn kind of asked the question, but where do you guys get the motivation to keep going and being consistent? Because you look at the game right now, it's like you got people out here doing their shit, but it's like they don't have that consistency. It's almost like you guys are right on the money. Something happened, pow, let's make a video right away. Like, where do you get that consistency from? Is that, is that where it's like, yo, do you have someone that's saying, yo, we should do this video? Or is it just something that's a group collective where y'all like, yo, we just saw this shit with Braun. Let's make a video right now. Like, and you put it right out right away. Like, where does that come from? Um, I mean, kind of like, um, really, I'm the one who would just be like, we need to do this. We need to make this video. Yeah. We need to make this video. And um, they are all the ones that basically be the one, like, I feel like if, if I'm like, all right, should we make this video? And they will give me the confirmation I need to be like, let's okay, let's make this mug, let's make it great. Is it sometimes where it's like, bro, that shit ain't funny, I'm going back to sleep? Or is it like no, nah, we work, yeah. we work, so it, we ain't we ain't never going back to sleep. But I feel like yeah. if if there's a if there's like a something that pops up and like I'll be like, Y'all think this is funny enough to do? That's what we won't even make the video. We'll be like, Do we think this is funny enough? Like, is it worth doing? And if it's not, then we'll just pass it over. And then if it is, we'll do it. And then and then we'll uh, all go and like watch the video by ourselves to see how funny it is to ourselves first. Cause I feel like if you laugh together in a group, like you're gonna be getting energy from other people and it might not be as funny as you think it is. So I feel like uh, I came with a method to where that we all go to a separate rooms and watch the video by ourselves and send a certain oh. rating. And now we know if the video is actually funny to each one of us instead of us all watching the video around one thing. Nah, for sure, man. That that's 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 one thing that's that's pretty funny that you said that because a lot of times you know a lot of times we live in a world where it's like okay if they think it's cool it's cool to me too but being yeah. like these small things of like yo go into a different room watch the video let me know what you think and y'all come back as a collective and I think that's why it's so powerful to to have a group and I think that's why you guys are so successful and why you're so successful because you have a group that and everybody knows they roll right you know. You think about 10 years ago, right? We used to live in a goal-oriented society where it's like you have one common goal, and as an individual, you're going to chase that common goal. But as times has changed, it's about having a group of collective people, like a clique, and everyone knows their role. Like, yeah, he, the man behind you ain't trying to be you. The man to the left ain't trying to be him because all y'all individually have your own talent and all you know your role. And as long as people can know their role in this new society, you can elevate a lot more together. So tell me about how I want everybody to talk on this question. Like, tell me your roles in this whole like RDC thing. Who's whose role is what? So it's a starting five team. You know, okay, let's take the LA Lakers, right? We yeah. take their team right now. Who is who? And I mean, who is Braun? We got Braun. So, okay. So who, who would you say is, is Dennis Schroeder, the man, you know, bringing the ball up, making sure everybody in place, running the plays if need to, who, who is Schroeder out of the group? I would say no, no, Hey, Okay. I'll be Schroeder. I just feel like whatever he just described is usually. Okay. Yeah. I'll be Schroeder then. So who, who who is AD? Who who is the one that's keeping everything together? Like Bron got it, but like 
he need AD next to him to make sure shit is everything. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So who who is Gasol who's cleaning it up? Who's just there? They don't really need. Not, no, okay, my bad. I ain't gonna say that. <laughs> not, not like that. Not like that. Not like that. But like Gasol is there. He a vet, and you need Gasol because he's gonna make great plays. You know the game. But who is the Gasol out of the group? Wait, wait. What was the question? Okay, okay. Let me let me reword that. Okay, Gasol is a legend. You know, and his own respect. He's the man. But as on the Lakers right now, they don't really need Gasol to really be doing that shit, but he's an intricate part of the group. So if you do need him, you know you can count on Gasol to bring it. So who is the Gasol? I feel like, this? yeah, I feel like Luke right here. He's like, okay. you know what I'm saying? Like, he, we, we, first of all, we do need Luke. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I started the question off wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I like yeah, the yeah, question yeah. off. That's all. I, I wasn't um, listening. I was, I was doing it. But yeah, I feel like it's Lila. Yeah, for sure, for sure. And then who who's the shooter, Caldwell Pope, the dude that no matter what, you always gonna count on he's gonna knock the shot down. If if shit hit the fan, you know KCP gonna rock. <laughs> hey, 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 that's love, that's love, that's love. Nah, man. I mean, you know, it's and like I said, it's 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 a pleasure to talk to all of you as a group because there's not too many people in this space where it's a group of dudes, right? You know, like where it's like but it, but it's, but it's consistent. You know, one time you see groups of people, and it's like, you know, a month later you only see two of the people out of five or two out of six. Yeah. But one thing that y'all have done has been super, super consistent. Would you say that's what's made you, you know, Mark, as successful as you are? Because I mean, I you could be doing this on your own, and you could be a celeb and a superstar as you already are. But tell me how crucial it is to have you know the team behind you, you know, the, the guys behind you to always know you can count on them, guys. How? How important is that to, to your growth? I feel like it's uh, the most important thing. You know what I'm saying? I feel like without without them, I just feel like I probably would not have gotten this far, this fast at any point. Because, um, like, it, it just – first of all, I feel like, you know, iron sharp, sharpens iron. So I feel like, you know what I'm saying, they all iron. You know, so that's how I feel about it. Um, so I feel like it's very important, very crucial. And it's very crucial that our energies always match and that we are always – um, just kind of on the same wave because if we if we're not on the same wave, then I would honestly be better cutting off one arm than losing the whole body. You know what I'm saying? 100%. So if, if anybody was to just get off a wave, like that's how I feel like that's how that should be. But I feel like um, we are all on the same wave, and this is the reason why we continue to put out uh, great things onto the world. And, and because we believe in the universe and energy and God, uh, that that takes us so so much further. Hundred percent. So what's what's next? You know, what I mean, I, I want to ask. I want each person to kind of hop on here individually. Actually, I'm gonna start with this question. Individually, you know, what is your biggest dream? And, and Mark, I want you to answer last. Okay, uh, good, cause I, I gotta write this message actually. <laughs> All right, cool, cool, good, good, good shit. I see you. On, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. All right, so I'll go first. Um, I guess my biggest goal is dream. What's your biggest dream? All right, sure. Uh, dream. So my dream is to be. I want to make a a rap icon as big as Quasimodo or the Gorillas. You know, some shit that's like, like a like an entity almost. Mm. And the reason I say it's goal is because the shit gonna happen. You know what I'm saying? Hundred percent. Hundred percent. But yeah, in that realm, that's what I'm trying to do. You you like, into the music sector? You you love music? Yes, sir. God, that's love, 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 love. All right, bet, bet. Who next? Who next? What's your biggest dream, fam? I'll go. Um, Say your name too, so everybody can. Hey, can you tell him come back to tell his name? Because I don't know. I don't everybody uh, don't know y'all yeah. name. We know. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's me. I'm F. This is Afian. 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 All right, bet, bet, bet. Appreciate you. Yep. Can't use your nickname. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name, bro? Tell me your biggest dream, fam. My name's Desmond, and uh, yep. basically, uh, I just got this dream like recently. So, but uh, my biggest dream that I want to have right now is I want to be the best like VFX artist. VFX, mm -hmm. like making effects, like in, like big movies. Like, I want to get to a certain point where to where like somebody like like Mark, if he has like an idea, he'd be like, "Hey man, I need you to like make me fly to from Earth to space or something to the moon or something like that." I want to be able to be there and be like, "Oh yeah, I can do that. I can do that. I can do that." Yeah, that's easy. A lot of it's hard. It's a lot of it's a lot of work to. Hundred percent. So yeah, uh, my friend Dylan and Ad, they helped me out with it too. Uh, he's right 100%. here. Yeah, and. Uh, What's up, Dylan? Yeah, basically that's my that's my big biggest dream. 
as for right now, I'm pretty sure it's going to be a lot more. But yeah, that's you that's know who Chris Ashley is. You know who Chris Ashley is? Yeah. Oh wait. Yeah, he does. A, Chris a, Ashley. He he do a lot of. I'm gonna push. I'm gonna put you. I'm gonna connect y'all. Like Chris Ashley do that visual effects shit crazy. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm always I'm always trying to get inspired from it, learn from people's like experiences because like I'm I'm need that because this is like a whole new field that's gonna take like years to master. So like I'm I'm down with that definitely. Hundred percent. All right, I appreciate you. Who, who's next? Who's next? Who we got? Who we got? Hey, this is Ben. Hey, so uh, I guess my biggest dream would be to be like a, a great, the great, a great producer. Uh, so like, I want to make beats and stuff, but I think um, something I've realized recently, like, I want to do more than just that too. I want to just like just make uh, like good, really good music as a whole. Kind of like you know how DJ Khaled, he kind of like orchestrates a whole thing. Mm -hmm. It's not just yeah. making beats; he brings people in. I feel like I have a really good ear for stuff, and I want to make something like really, really. I just want to be a great producer, pretty much. Hundred percent, hundred percent. Yeah, bet, bet. Appreciate you, fam. My name is Leela, and my biggest dream. I don't really know what exactly. I don't really know exactly what I want to do in the video game industry, but I want to have a big impact on it. Growing up, video games was like my biggest inspiration, and, and I play them all the time, and I love them to death. And uh, for video games, exactly, I'm talking more Nintendo. That's my childhood, and I love it to death, and that's probably be it. 100, 100. Appreciate that. Mm -hmm. Love, love. Hey, what's up? It's John, Jonathan. What's up, John? Hey, uh, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I came off weird, but uh, basically, <laughs> I want to be a producer as well, but like, or not really music producer, but just more of like, um, like I want to be like a producer for like entertainment. You know, I want to be able to be the person that can put people on, you know, like, have the high power to be like, hey man, like I really believe in someone else's dream. You know what I'm saying? Put them in, whether they want to be an actor or a rapper or uh, just any one of those things, I want to get to that position or- And you make it happen. Yeah, I want to be, I don't know, like Diddy or something, or Jay-Z, one of them, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> Nah, for sure, real shit. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Love is love. Are you still sending that message? I know we only got, how much time you got? We got like 10 more minutes. I know you got stuff y'all got to do. Yeah, no, um, it's just it's just that this uh I actually got to do this Dreamville uh Instagram live today at 7 p.m. in like an hour and 45 minutes. Oh yeah. Um, I want to talk to you individually for a little bit. I got some questions I want to ask you. Yeah, yeah I got um, like 10, I got like 15 minutes. I I can do 15 okay. minutes. Mm -hmm. oh, so, like, tell me what's your biggest dream? I mean, you, you know, <laughs> no, no, I, I wasn't like that, but I just, you know, I want to spend some time with you because at the end of the day, you know, as we talk, you know, everybody is saying, yo. You the man to write the shit. You do this. And like like I said, my whole shit is about putting you people on. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it's, I'm glad that you brought your folk on here to be able to talk and, and really to show the love for that. Back to the original question, like, what would you say is your biggest dream that, you know, that, you know, that you see yourself at in, you know, two, three, four years? Like, what does that look like for you? Um, I, you know, I feel like that my biggest dream is, um, is really to, to make a production company where I can make movies and TV shows and anime um, that, you know, that we have full control over and mm -hmm. just to put out good things in the world that inspires people as the movies and TV shows that I watched when I was younger inspire me. Um, and, and to really, I really want to be a role model for the world, but you know, that's hard to do because, you know, people make mistakes and stuff. And, and now in this world, they cancel people and this and this, they don't let people uh, they don't let people make mistakes, especially the black community. The black community doesn't make, doesn't let the black community make mistakes. Um, but I, I feel like that I just want to give inspiration and creativity into the, onto the world and just, and just be some, something somebody can look at when they're about to give up and be like, look, like he kept going, let me keep going and, and, and watch our films and TV shows. They, they give off the same message and, and just put out something really good story wise and, 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 you know, for the world with, with through film and, uh, things of that nature. Yeah, I mean, I def like I said, bro, I definitely see that being next for you. And it's one of those things where I always say, it's like, it's all about, it's not about what you know. It's, it's all about who you know, right? So, yes. you know, like you said, we just had Mike B on. Yeah, yeah, and I'm no. sure, you know, there's certain things, like if you want to create your own production company or whatever, the Active Dreamers, what I'm about, bro, my whole brand, right, is about bringing people together to allow all of our dreams to come true. You know, I got drafted in 2009. Yeah. I ain't have no scholarships in high school. I didn't have one scholarship, bro. You know what I'm saying? I, I went to prep school. Yeah. When I went to prep school, I got an offer to do a small, small school, Siena College. I went to upstate New York, played Siena College. But I always had that dream, like, I want to make it big. I didn't I had no clue how I was going to get there. Just like you said, you have no clue how you're going to get to, you know, have your own production company, have these big movies. But 
Yeah. I'm a testament to tell you, bro, as long as you believe and you keep the cap open, you don't put a cap on what's, what's happening because you saw so-and-so didn't make it or whatever, your dream will always, always, always come true, bro. And it's like, you know, that's why I wanted to bring you on here to just really let you know, bro, like superstar, bro. And I'm sure you probably believe that or whatever, but I just think there's so much more for you. And however I can help you and your team get to the next level, bro, like I'm here for you. What's next? Like, are you taking steps to, to get to that own production company, you know, starting your own films? Like what's next for yourself? Like, what do you, what's next? Yeah. Well, we, I'm taking some steps right now. That's a lot of steps. I, it's something I can't actually even announce, but, um, uh, yeah, yeah, don't um, talk about it. If it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. But yeah. I, you know, I'm, I'm trying to write in TV right now, but not just like write for somebody else's TV show, uh, for my spe- specific TV show. Um, I got some stuff uh, working with Issa Rae. I can't say that part. Nice. She yeah. believed in me and she kind of gave me a, you know, she gave me a platform and hopefully I can show the world what we can do on that platform once it, once that happens and uh, comes to play. But um, I really appreciate her, by the way. So shout out Issa Rae and much shout love to her. Issa Rae, man. Um, shout out her big time. So I know you got to go. We got like two minutes. I'm going to ask you two more questions. What was that time... When you was like, oh, I think I'm on a little bit. What was that moment? What was that? What was that time that made you be like, okay, I am him. It's time. Like, what? 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 Was it a skit? Was it something someone told you? What was that moment? My cousin just said, you know what I'm saying. He just said, you really been the same one. So I and I have like, I feel like you know in high school it wasn't like I was no, you know, like I was like not known. Like a lot of people mess with me. I mess with them and just made them laugh and stuff like that. So I feel like I never really wanted to be like, per, per se, like popular or have a lot of followers. Like I wanted a lot of followers because I knew it would help me get closer to my dream quicker. Um, mm. And I didn't want to go through like the New York film school, but I had, that was my plan to go through New York film school to do it the old fashioned way. It's just that Instagram came up and I and I was already making videos and was like, look, you know, I, I gathered uh, all my friends and I was like, Let, let's move here. Cause they all moved to my college. I was over at UNT. Yeah. Northern Texas? Uh, yeah, University of North Texas. So I, gotta, I was up there and um, all my friends, we was, we was in different places. The ones that was in, that's in the group right now, we was in different places. But you know what I'm saying? I had them, you know, I, I pitched a dream that I believed in completely. And I told them they was the people I want around. So, they, you know, they, they really just believed in me and came all the way up there to UNT. We was broke, but hey, they believed in me, and and I and I'll never change. I'll never change off that. You know what I'm saying? And I'm I'm a. Man, that's so much love, man. Just hearing you say that, you know, you had. To, that's why I say, bro, you you're the brawn of comedy. Like, you got it's it's the individual talent, but does it also take something to convince the team to be like, yo, I'm gonna put you on because this is what we gonna do. Yeah. And the fact that your friends and your family can to support your vision it's a true testament that we is bigger than me and it's one of those things where that's what i supremely preach is like bro we all got dreams and aspirations individually but when you come together as a clique as one you make those dreams get fulfilled a lot faster bro and you're you're living testimony of putting your people on putting pride aside and really going after it and actually getting it you know y'all getting it but there's so much more for you, bro. And I just want to say thank you so much for joining the Step Back with Jack podcast. Yeah. And I appreciate you rocking the hoodie, you know, man. <laughs> nah. Shout out to you. Shout out to your whole team, man. And, and and shout out to what you're doing, man. You're a black man in anime. That's not, you're doing things so differently where it's like, just keep being yourself, bro. Because I mean, the, 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 the world, it's endless for you, man. And I just want to say I appreciate you for tapping in, man. And, um, Congratulations on everything you're doing and good luck with the Dreamville shit. And man, I would love to have you back on again, man. You you got my support, bro. Whatever you need, just hit me. I got you, fam. Hey, definitely. Hey, I, and I want to say, and I know my whole team feels the whole same way, even though they they kind of doing this thing to make sure that this video gets to the Dreamville people, right? Yeah. Um, you know, we really appreciate you bringing us on here and just showing us this much love and everything. Because uh, like you said, I, I, you know, I'm a believer in if I see somebody and they working towards something, like I'm a hell, I'm I'm going to join like even like even with this podcast like I'm not gonna ask you no know, question like oh wait how many people are watching or anything like that the the way I see it is like if this person put his heart and soul in it then I should do it that's just how I see everything love bro um, because you know I put my heart and soul into something and I reached out to a lot of people 
on my way up and not one helped me. So I had to learn all this shit myself and with my team and nobody gave us no handouts. And I, and, and I'm helpful. I'm, I'm, I'm happy that it didn't happen 100%. like that. I didn't want no handout. I'm glad that it took, cause I've been doing this since 11th grade and I'm 26 now and I am it happy. 11th grade. Yeah. Uh, 11th grade summer. Um, I was trying to make a comic book. That's how it actually started was making a comic book and, um, it didn't work out. And I sent it to a lot of companies and they was like, Hey, you know, that's pretty good. Keep going. But, um, then we start making videos, uh, me and F, but in 12th grade, and then we've been doing it since now. And, and this is what be has become of it. But I always knew that I was going to work with, within TV shows, film and, and movies and everything like that. And, and I, and I just want to say thank you for, you know, giving us, uh, another chance to tell our story uh, and, no and showing so much love. This is literally my favorite interview, not because Michael B. Jordan like popped in, but this genuinely made me happy. You know, genuinely made me happy to be here and you're a really good host. I really appreciate it. And I appreciate that, bro. And that's what it's about. It's all frequency, man. It's all about bringing us together and putting, a, putting aside the divisive and the division. You know what I mean? Let's multiply. You know, you multiply division. That was a nice little line. You know what I'm saying? And like yeah. I said, we're going to close out with that, man. I appreciate you, man. Good luck with everything. The Supreme Times. We got to get something cracking. The Active Dream of Supreme Dreams. Like, what's up? Yeah. What we, we got to do something. It's coming. <laughs> we do got to do something because I didn't know that the Active Dreamers was your, like... I'm the CEO. It's me. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm talking about shit. Let me stop. But yeah, bro. You know, no, that's you definitely about, deserve man. to. 100% man I, I would love to, to create something with you man it could be it could be two items it could be a capsule collection man I ain't no middle man ain't yeah. none of that my girlfriend That's does all my designs I do my designs so let's definitely we'll talk offline about that but like like I said bro I appreciate you everything you're doing keep it up man you're an inspiration to me and then everybody else man keep going shout out to the team if y'all can't hear me man shout y'all out man y'all keep doing build big things I'm leaving at this we're gonna be billionaires man new black billionaires let's get it love appreciate you fam yeah. Peace. All right, bro. Be easy, man. All right, bro. Be easy, bro. Peace. All right. Hey, look. I ain't gonna lie. I want to thank everybody once again, man. This is a Step Back with Jack podcast. We have Mark Phillips, you know, RDC, Supreme Dreams, Active Dreamers, man. We at it again. Beautiful interview. I appreciate everyone. And I'm gonna leave it at this, man. Follow your dreams supremely. You know, his name is Supreme Dreams. And I want to say supremely because at the end of the day, you got to look at yourself as supreme. Why do you think the brand supreme is so big? Because the name put itself in a vibrational frequency of being supreme. Don't have little dreams or big dreams. Have supreme dreams. Shout out RDC. Shout out my man Mark Phillips. This is another Active Dreamers episode of Step Back with Jack Podcast. Love y'all. Peace and love. Mm -hmm.